first of all, 2023, what I'm going to be talking about is the global meaning. And this only affects people, countries, uh, governments, etc. if they are in a seven year, their age adds to a seven. But globally, the energy is um, about the word direction. So we've come out of 2020, which was our lockdown and restriction. We went into 2021, which is a, a five, which was all the difficulties with COVID because it means flu and colds, etc. 2022 was a number six, which says we can now go back to pre-2020 so that in 2023, we're allowed to go forward. And this is what 2023 starts off with. So it's about move and movement and direction. And it can be a little bit directionless. It normally takes about three to four months for us to get into the wheels of motion and highlighting the word wheels because direction is all about the word movement and transport. So this year you will hear a lot to deal with anything to deal with transport. So from mopeds to motorbikes to cars and trucks and vans and all the way to um, aeroplanes and boats and trains. And this also includes space travel. So this is all about our freedom of movement and how we can um, move forward with our lives. But it means new direction. The negative of this um, to give you uh, an example of what happened in 2014, which added to a seven, is this is the year of tragedies and accidents. Um, and I'm going to bring in um, um, Elon Musk um, because he's doing quite a bit of stra space travel. And one has got to hope that there's not going to be any tragedies associated with space travel. The magic about uh, a number seven year is love and romance. It's magical. Um, it also brings in a highlight to deal with music, art, theater. So this is the way we're going to be seeing our entertainers come to the fore. And this will highlight, for example, we had um, Gangnam Style, which was a massive international hit. And this is the kind of year that will bring um, that in. It does, unfortunately, still pertain to crime and criminals. And this is also a lot to deal with court, but it's the year of fame and infamous. So there's going to be a lot of well-known people or people who are going to hit the headlines in newspapers or TV, etc., that are going to be either more famous or they're going to be infamous. It is about charity and kindness. It's about public and open, and it's about everything being disclosed. It's also got to deal with um, move and movement is weapons, um, so we've got to kind of watch out if there's going to be any uh, weapons firing missiles, etc. And it's also about asteroids. The highlight on weather is going to be the sea. Now, because a seven is the number for the birth sign Cancerian and the number seven Cancerian is ruled by the moon. So we can expect some exceptionally high tides. Um, and this will be abnormal to what we normally see. And of course, this is also about move and movement with the tectonic plates. And we know that the earth is 70% water. So when there is a movement in the tectonic plates and the power of water on earth, as it gets into the tectonic plates, it can start to push and to shift those tectonic plates. So this will bring eruptions um, and earthquakes that will be highlighted as well. But seven is still water in general. So this can be an excessive amount of rain um, and also a lack of rain. The areas I'd be a little bit concerned about for us here in South Africa is um, all the way from Natal, East London, the PEs and the Cape Town with high tides. 
Cape Town is born on the 25th of July and they are in a water year and um, this is going to have an exponential uh, effect. So people have to be very, very mindful and we're aware of water issues just not only in South Africa, but it is around the world. Well, let's look at South Africa's birth date. A lot of people choose the, the 27th of April, but we are still the Republic of South Africa. If we'd become the Democratic Republic of South Africa, then that date would be um, the date that I would look at. But the um, Republic of South Africa is born on the 31st of May, 1961. Interesting, we are in a six personal, so that's what's going on on the inside of South Africa, although our age is adds to a seven. So the six in the personal still brings in ESCOM, and that is mechanical, electrical, technical, and chemical, but it also brings in alternate energy, solar, um, etc. So that's quite positive, and that should be gaining a stronger momentum all the way through to even June, July after our birthday on the 31st. Now our age has been a seven and from May we go into a seven personal. Now we get back in line with the global. So it's telling you internally the freedom of movement. So look at this movement. Let's look, got fingers crossed that by November Prasa is uh, really running well because that's about transportation. Um, hopefully we're going to see a lot more with our airlines that are now defunct that they might have some new airlines that come into play to offer the freedom of movement for our South Africans. So this new direction is coming into play. Our age will be 62 in May of this year and we are an eight life path country and 62 adds to an eight. So we only go into our life path in May of 2024, but our age is about communication, but this is the violent number. This is aggressive. Um, it's the bullies, it's the bulldozers, but it's also about a number that actually gets things going and gets things done. So tying in the seven personal with 2023 and getting things done, it's looking like a quite a positive year from May onwards. Our midpoint is the 1st of December of every year. So that should actually start to pick up in our direction and our move and our movement within South Africa. Tying in ESCOM, it's, it's our nightmare. So ESCOM has got three dates. They've got ESCOM Holdings, ESCOM Enterprises, and then ESCOM's founded date. The founding date is the 1st of March, 1923. And since 2022, um, March to March in 2023, it's been in loss of money. Who am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? And we're now going into a lot of legal matters. We know they're applying for a 38%, by the way, that adds to an 11, which says they're not going to get that increase. And I think the, the question is, whenever ESCOM switches off, they're not earning money. So it's a bit of a dog catching its tail situation regarding how they have to keep increasing the prices, but they can't put the billing out there because they keep switching us off. So the ESCOM founded date, um, it's almost like they've got the hirings and the firings and retrenchments and also separating. We know that they are, are breaking up ESCOM and this should gain momentum round about um, September of 2023. But there's a lot of issues still around for the next um, three years. And I'm going to say 23, 24 and 2025. This ESCOM founded date is in serious trouble. It's like it's going into lockdown of 2020, which is really bad. It's all about structures.